I'm going to treat you to a few trade secrets that will change, change your, your life, life without having to go under the knife. Hi my loves, it's Maya here and today we're doing a video on how to feminize your body non-surgically. I have recently come across a few techniques and a few products that have been absolute game changers for me. And if you're new here and you don't know, I was born a man and so I do everything I can to try to imitate femininity. Applause, applause, applause. No, no, no. In all seriousness, I know a lot of us out there deal with body dysphoria where we don't align necessarily with the body that we were given by nature. Um, for me, for instance, I was born XY and I feel like sometimes I'm not always aligned with the way that my body looks and I want to access a more feminine physique. Nothing wrong with that, but surgery is so expensive and there's so many side effects and risks. So I think it's so important to have ways to mitigate our appearance and our issues with our body without having to do, you know, really invasive and permanent procedures. So stay tuned for some life changing techniques and products that I have been doing in order to really feminize my appearance. You guys have been asking a lot of questions about it and I feel like it's time I finally did a video on this topic. I'm so surprised that I haven't done one yet. So first off, I want to call out the elephant in the room, which is the fact that yes, I have had uh, some pectoral planets installed onto my chest and I'm not going to be utilizing anything that, you know, is just from the perspective of someone who's had a breast augmentation. These are products that will work for anyone. In addition, I also had a cleaver to my beaver. Those are the only surgeries that I've had. Uh, so don't worry, I haven't had a BBL or anything like that. Can't afford that stuff like most of us out there. So the first thing I wanna bring up are these little chicken cutlets that I keep wrapped in saran wrap. Basically, it's a strapless bra that adds extra cushioning and cinches together what you do have. So I will admit I do have a breast augmentation. So this is really helpful for like pushing together the augmentation and creating cleavage and really feminizing that area of my body. However, it does provide extra volume and it does cinch together skin based on sticking together. So you can use it with or without a breast augmentation. So it would work well for anyone, whether or not you just popped your first hormone or you know, you've know you never even had or seen an estrogen pill in your life, um, this would help for you. Um, and also these things work for any woman out there, whether or not you were born with a danger or um, a sheath. <laughs> I'm being crazy, but anyways. So this was a game changer for me for so many outfits. It's so seamless looking. Next, something really classic, but I feel like it's not talked about enough is shapewear. Now I can't vouch for any specific shapewear other than what I have, and this is a Skims body shapewear. Um, I know that there's a lot of Amazon dupes. You guys can do your own research, go and check those things out. There's much more affordable options out there. But basically what this does is it cinches in your rib cage, your undulating rib cage. It pulls you in, in your upper body, and it allows your booty to just explode because there's no um, there's no compression on the booty and so you get that shape that you want for a lot of us trans women out there we have a wider set rib cage and a narrow pelvis very endomorphic endomorphic Emily and we want to accentuate the opposite so that really helps with that the compression is in all the right areas I just wanted to show you guys what I look like with the skims shapewear and the strapless um, sticky bra. This already does such a fantastic job. So on the average day, I may not even need to include the butt pads. I think it looks really cute. Um, I already feel more curvaceous. You can really see that it's like snatching me in in the middle. Um, and yeah, and I know what you're thinking. Okay, like, yeah, my ribs are now compressed and I have a slight waist, but I have a flat ass. It's not serving. It's giving pancake. It's giving, you know, flat wall, nothing there, sometimes even concave. Well, guess what? I recently came across another product, which I'm sure is a staple for drag queens, but if you go uh, subtle with it, you can get away with it and have that full hourglass figure, and that is hip padding. I purchased these hip pads from Amazon. Um, I don't have the specific link for them. You're gonna have to need to measure yourself and figure out what your size is gonna be. I just got small because, hey, the reason why I'm getting it in the first place is because it is small and I'm trying to enlarge it. So for me, this did wonders. I put it over the shapewear and then all of a sudden I have a cinched in waist, cinched in ribs, and a 
big bovine booty from behind. Changed my game. My boobies are popping. My booty is popping. My waist is snatched to the gods and I feel iconic. Now take a look at this frame. Like this is crazy. Like giving full body Audi, full moment, almost like a BBL kind of vibe. My body feels snatched. Like I've never felt so like, you know, goddess-like and confident. Not only that, this type of shapewear, I feel like it's perfect if you wanna look good for a specific moment. Like say you're going to an event or a Christmas party and you otherwise would have difficulty finding outfits that you felt confident in because hey, you don't have that figure that you wish you had, especially if you're a trans woman and you're trying to pass a little bit more. This is obviously not something that you would like, you know, go to the bar in and try to like, you know, wine and dine with a guy and then he, he takes you home and you've got, you know, Miss Doubtfire hiding underneath your kilt. No, um, this is more so for, you know, events and moments and memories and things you want to do in public with friends or family or work or, you know, everyday life that, you know, you want to just have that extra zhuzh, the je ne sais quoi. And it's perfect. It's awesome. Um, I've tried this um, and it's tried and true. So here's a skin tight bodycon dress. You can see my average body. It's like not terrible. Like I've got something to work with. That being said, it's really nothing special. Like I'm not typically one to wear you know, crazy body con because I just kind of have a bit straighter of a figure. So it's not something that I would necessarily 100% reach for without uh, the additional shapewear products that I'm going to show you. So this is the before. So as you can see, huge difference from before full hourglass shape. Sorry if you hear Elio barking in the back. <laughs> And I think it looks so crazy different. It's so gorgeous. The tatas are pushed up to the heavens. Obviously with this dress, I probably would opt for a strapless shapewear because um, you can kind of see the straps a little bit. Um, so you just want to make sure you're choosing shapewear that's right for you and what kind of dress you are getting. but I think it works really good with casual outfits too. My butt has never looked better in jeans than when I use these products. Um, it's helped me so much and it's helped with confidence as well. So take a look at this before and after. It is crazy how much of a difference it makes. So here is the casual fit with no shapewear. Again, I'm not like mad at my body and this is totally something I would be comfortable wearing casually and just hanging out with friends. Nothing bad about it at all, but definitely nothing like oomph, like nothing in your face, kind of a little bit, you know, pencil-y, which is fine. But this is what I have to work with on a casual day. Now this is the casual fit with shapewear. It's like day and night, so cute. Again, titties pushed up to the heavens, looking curvaceous and sucked in. I feel so like fitted into the clothes now. Like these jeans are meant to fit this way. If you look at the tushy, it's just giving. Like it's giving booty. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, hun. And if you feel ashamed about having to do stuff like this, don't. Because guess what? This is trade secret stuff that people do on the red carpets for the past century. If you see celebrities looking so perfect and so snatched and so good with their bodycon gowns and whatnot, these are all the secrets, you know? And, and I feel like it's time that we all have access to them. someone who is a pencil patty straight up and down. I have had a breast augmentation, so that adds a little bit of top heavy frontal je ne sais quoi. But that being said, I don't have the booty slash hips to even it out 100%. I'm pretty much happy with the way that I am. Um, I think I started hormones early enough. I did start it though when I was like 19. So 
I had already gone through my first puberty. So I was kind of working against certain elements, but I think genetically I'm pretty happy with my, my body is. That's why I'm not necessarily really pushing for surgery at this point in my life. Like I'm happy. I've already done my breast augmentation, you know, my pacification surgery and you know, life's good, but this just adds a little subtle je ne sais quoi. It's great for gowns and dresses. And yeah, it just adds that little bit of zhuzh or oomph when you otherwise maybe would find something that's better fitting for more money. Now you can make other things work to your favor because there's so many outfits and things and styles that I wanted to try, but that weren't 100% flattering to my natural body shape. But now they are because I can add a little oomph. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you see the humor in it. And yeah, it's kind of Christmassy vibes. You can see my Christmas lights in the back, super cozy. We're doing Vlogmas here. Don't be afraid to hit the subscribe button. I got lots of content coming your way. Follow me over on Instagram for constant life updates as well. You can follow me on uh, TikTok and Twitch. I'm always doing live streams over on Twitch. She's a gamer girl too. Um, and yeah, we just like to keep it fun, funny and keep it light. You know, um, that's the way I feel during this holiday season and this chapter of my life. I just want to, you know, live in the moment, have fun and not take life so seriously. This isn't about, you know, co-opting womanhood or trying to propagate negative stereotypes about what kind of body you should have. This is just about being versatile, having fun and achieving your goals without having to, you know, have irreversible surgeries, complications, money, all that stuff. You can, you can find ways affordably to do this. And so I just wanted to share some of my words of wisdom, as uh, being like a trans woman of like what been, since 20, January 2015, since I came out, since I thrust my way out of the closet. So that's like what? Simple math, eight years, almost nine years this January. Wow, it has been a journey. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll see you next time.